hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Chantel today I'm gonna to be reviewing makeup revolutions new brand which is called XX revolution so I ended up purchasing their hydro quench bomb aloe vera primer I also purchased their foundation and also their concealer so yeah today I'm gonna to be reviewing this new brand and also give you guys a first impressions so this is the packaging for the primer the hydro quench bomb aloe vera and it just says 70 percent water so i really like the details on this it's like a nice frosted glass and also here you can see it's like a, it's like really mirrored so it's a bit weird on the camera but you can see like there's like little sprinkles of water which I think is a really nice detail. And I saw like on their page, like it's quite, I don't know, it looks like it's gonna be quite gooey, which, yeah, it looks gooey. Smells of aloe vera. So that is what it looks like. You can see it's like really jelly, like it's got a jelly consistency to it. So I don't know how it's gonna, feel like on the face but we're gonna see with a little bit first and then if I feel like I need to build it up I will I'm just hoping that it's not gonna feel really sticky just gonna put a bit more on I'm gonna put a little bit on my t-zone and just cover my nose a little bit and see how it works like where my pores are okay so I feel like it's a little bit sticky but it might have just been made that way just to keep your keep like your foundation on if that makes sense um so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt but it just might I feel like some primers are sticky just so that it keeps your foundation on but yeah let's see how we get on with the foundation so just to let you guys know that it is 25 mil and it retails for 15 pounds i'll just read a little bit of the description for you guys as well over 70 percent water and infused with impactful ingredients to prep skin for whatever comes next plus they have a super cool bounce texture for super satisfying application essential addition to your primer routine it also says that it's cruelty free and vegan so yeah okay, so up next is the glow skin fox station um so we're gonna see how this is i'm really excited to use their foundation because i feel like makeup revolution comes out with really good foundations i love their stick foundation and also this one that i have here which is the conceal and define full coverage foundation this is one of my favorites i prefer this foundation to my nars foundation my mac foundation and it was like only 10 pound so i'm really excited to use this one i'm going to be applying it with the sponge i'm just going to be spraying some of the revolution cbd spray because i need some moisture on my sponge okay again i'm just going to be starting off small and if i need to build up then i'll build up i feel like that's really really light let me just tell you as well while i've got makeup on my face like this um i ended up going for the 8.5 Um, and this is a for medium skin tones and this is meant to have a yellow undertone like that I feel like it's a little bit too light for me I wish I went for a more goldeny undertone instead of yellow but I feel like my skin changes quite a lot yeah see it's a bit too light for me this will probably be my winter time shade so if I've not told you guys already, like in the winter time I go really light and obviously in the summer time, like most of you do, I go quite dark and goldeny. So yeah, this will be my winter time shade. But I do like it. 
Um, yeah, I only literally used one pump and that's covered half of my face already. Let me just double check what mil this is. So this is 27 mil. And yeah, I do like it. It has got a really nice smell to it too. Um, it smells really, really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie, it smells really nice. It smells so, so nice. I really like the smell to it. It sort of reminds me of um, the Huda Beauty foundation, not like the texture or anything, like not the actual foundation itself, but the smell reminds me of the smell of the Huda Beauty one. But uh, it's actually called the same as Huda Beauty's foundation, isn't it? Because her foundation is called the Fox Filter Foundation and this one is called the Fox Station. Yeah. Makeup Revolution, I feel like they're really known for doing dupes. Um, which I'm not mad about. Beeper Fix Concealer. Again, it's like the foundation, it's the frosted glass. So I went for the shade in 0.05. I'm gonna do one under eye at a time just because I don't know how quickly this dries down. Blend this in with a brush because I don't wanna use the same sponge. It's out really nicely and it doesn't dry down too quick. I feel like that's really brightened up my under eye as you can see the difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so as you can see, it's hidden my bags really nicely. I'm just gonna set that. I'm gonna put some down my nose and just to brighten up my forehead and my chin and then I'm gonna add some warmth to my face. I'm just going to take my makeup revolution i don't know where the lid is by the way it's been missing for ages and this is their foundation stick in f13 which again is one of my favorite foundations um, and i use this to contour a little bit and i'm just going to use this to warm up my face because that foundation was just a little bit too light for me and then I'm just going to take my Iconic brush to buff that out. Like the primer has done a really good job with keeping the foundation in place. Like I said, that's what I feel like. Primers are a little bit sticky um, for that reason. Here. I am just going to finish off the rest of this makeup. And I will get back to you guys in literally 0.5 seconds. Hi. I'm really happy with all the products that I tried out today and I 100% recommend going out and trying Revolution's brand new brand. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that you guys joined me on this video and if you did stay here to the end, then yay! I really hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.